I trained as a science teacher, I went to UL, and I was teaching online there 2021. Uh, we went online and I was driving into Lewisburg every day for a coffee and after a week I said okay this place needs a coffee shop because I was driving maybe 10 minutes which was a real waste so then I was starting to think about staycations and Covid was still happening and I thought okay there's gonna be a lot of people on holidays in Ireland this year plus I have no projects so I decided to start Horsebox Coffee Project. The day we opened there was a 5k limit you couldn't go outside 5k which was a bit gas and yeah it just went well it was kind of cute to that flower pot for most of the summer so we had a really really busy <laughs> people are always doing that uh, we had a really really busy summer it was great um, a really easy choice for me is to just take the local option that I know is good so I wanted everything to be local same for the cakes even the people who bake the cakes um, Trish and Ruth they all have the same values as the business, so like the milk comes from Mayo, the coffee beans don't come from Mayo, they come from Costa Rica, but they're all locally roasted. So yeah, easy choice to take the local option and support local. And plus, I had been going to Bean West and I knew what Erin already did. So then I went in and we got our own blend, taste tested a few, which was lovely. Nice process as well, and came up with this one. Luckily, luckily there haven't been any visitors in the graveyard yet, but uh, I think there's an interesting relationship between Irish people and the dead. You know, in this area, I think it's not that common. As far as I know, on the outer 10K coast of Ireland from Donegal to Kerry, there's this tradition of grave digging. Uh, mostly when I talk to people not from those areas, they've never heard of it or they maybe have heard of it and they have never seen it. But normally what happens here is if someone dies in the area, the neighbours and family will dig the grave like by hand, which is, which is nice. So it's actually a nice process in that regard. It's a science to keep it calibrated as well because it's a plant and coffee doesn't grow here grows in hot countries in South America and Asia and Africa so it's definitely challenging to keep a nice coffee blend uh, I suppose calibrated and in good quality and popular in the west of Ireland and um, it is definitely a niche area that we're in because we're looking at Clear Island and Inish Turk we're in a really nice area I think it's yeah it's important to have a good customer experience plus I'm very strong on um, local values again like support local businesses the smaller the better if I can buy something in Lewisburg I'll buy it in Lewisburg and not in Westport or or maybe Europe or online so yeah Amazing. I think experience for the customers is the main thing